Get ready to witness the unimaginable as we unveil the top 10 massive dams failed caught on camera. Welcome back fellow adventurers, today, we are to embark on a jaw-dropping journey filled with incredible footage and heart-pounding moments. And if you are as fascinated as I am by the power of nature and engineering, then hit the subscribe button and ring the notification bell because you won't want to miss a second of this thrilling exploration. At the 10th position is the Edenville Dam which was an earthen embankment dam at the confluence of the Titabawassee River and the Tobacco River in mid-Michigan, United States, forming Wixom Lake. The dam was about one mile north of Edenville, mostly in the southeast corner of Tobacco Township in Gladwin County, with its southeastern end reaching into Edenville Township in Midland County. Its height was 54 feet, and its length was 6,600 feet at its crest. The dam was built in 1924 for hydroelectric power and flood control. The dam was equipped with two 2.4 MW turbines capable of generating 4.8 MW of electricity in total. The dam was owned and operated by Boyce Hydropower, a company based in Edenville, which also owned three other hydroelectric facilities on the Titabawassee, the Secord, Smallwood, and Sanford Dams. On May 19, 2020, the Edenville Dam failed due to heavy rains and flooding. The failure of the dam caused the release of approximately 1 billion gallons of water, which quickly overwhelmed the Sanford Dam downstream. The flooding caused widespread damage in Midland and Saginaw counties, displacing thousands of residents. An independent forensic team investigated the failure of the Edenville Dam and released a report in September 2021. The report concluded that the dam failure was caused by a combination of factors, including the dam was built on weak soil that was prone to liquefaction. The dam was not properly maintained, and there were significant cracks and erosion in the embankment. The dam was overtopped by the floodwaters, which caused the embankment to fail. Number 9, Brumadinho Dam. It is a tailings dam located in Brumadinho, Minas Gerais, Brazil. It was owned by the mining company Vale, which was also involved in the Mariana Dam disaster of 2015. The Brumadinho Dam disaster occurred on January 25, 2019 when the dam failed, releasing a mudflow that engulfed the mine's headquarters, including a cafeteria during lunchtime, along with houses, farms, inns, and roads downstream. The mudflow killed 270 people and injured 112. The collapse of the Brumadinho Dam was caused by a combination of factors, including the dam being built on weak soil that was prone to liquefaction, the dam was overtopped by the floodwaters, which caused the embankment to fail. The Brumadinho Dam disaster was a major environmental and human tragedy. It has raised serious concerns about the safety of tailings dams in Brazil and around the world. Number 8, Dalaganga Dam. This was a concrete face rock and earth fill embankment dam on the Dalaganga River in Darchala, Pithoragar district, Uttarakhand, India. It was a run of the river dam, meaning that it did not store water. The dam was built to generate hydroelectric power. The Dalaganga Dam was built in 2000 and had a height of 56 meters, 184 feet, a length of 315 meters, and a thickness of 1 meter. It had a reservoir capacity of 8 kilometer cubes. The dam generated 280 megawatts of hydroelectricity. The Dalaganga Dam was destroyed in the 2021 Uttarakhand flood. The flood was caused by a combination of factors, including a glacier collapse and heavy rains. The floodwaters destroyed the dam and caused widespread damage and loss of life. The Dalaganga Dam was a major infrastructure asset for the region. The dam provided hydroelectric power and irrigation water to the region. The dam also helped to control flooding. The destruction of the dam is a major setback for the region. The Dalaganga Dam was well designed and constructed. However, it was located in a seismically active region. The 2021 Udrakhan flood was a rare and extreme event. The dam was not designed to withstand such an event. The destruction of the Dalaganga Dam is a reminder of the risks of dams in seismically active regions. It is important to design and construct dams that are safe and resilient to extreme events. We must also work to find ways to reduce the risks of flooding in these regions. At the seventh position is the Auburn Cofferdam which was a temporary dam built on the North Fork of the American River in California, United States. It was constructed in the early 1970s as part of the proposed Auburn Dam project. 
The dam was designed to divert the river around the construction site of the main dam. The Auburn Cofferdam was an earthen dam about 265 feet high and 1,600 feet long. It was constructed using sheet piling, which is a type of piling made of steel or concrete that is driven into the ground to form a watertight barrier. The Auburn Cofferdam was completed in 1975. However, the Auburn Dam project was ultimately cancelled in 1983 due to environmental concerns. The Cofferdam was left in place and is now a popular hiking and fishing destination. In February 1986, the Auburn Cofferdam suffered a partial collapse due to heavy rains. The collapse caused about 125,000 cubic feet of water to escape, but there were no injuries or property damage. The Auburn Cofferdam is a reminder of the challenges of building dams in California. The state is prone to earthquakes and heavy rains, which can put dams at risk. The collapse of the Auburn Cofferdam also highlights the importance of regular inspection and maintenance of dams. The Auburn Cofferdam collapse was a serious incident, but it did not cause any major damage. The lessons learned from the collapse will help to make dams safer in the future. Number 6, Ochka Dam. It was a tailings dam located in Ochka, Vesprem County, Hungary. It was owned by the MAL Hungarian Alumina plant, which used it to store red mud, a waste product from the production of alumina. The Ochka Dam collapsed on October 4, 2010, releasing approximately 1 million cubic meters, 35 million cubic feet, of red mud. The mud flow engulfed the village of Kalantar and the town of Devexer, killing 10 people and injuring 150. About 40 square kilometers, 15 square miles, of land were initially affected. The Ochka Dam collapse was a major environmental and human tragedy. It has raised serious concerns about the safety of tailings dams around the world. In the aftermath of the disaster, the Hungarian government ordered the closure of all tailings dams in the country. The MAL Hungarian Alumina plant was also fined heavily and has pledged to improve its safety practices. The Ochka Dam collapse is a reminder of the dangers of tailings dams. It is important to ensure that these dams are properly maintained and that they are not built in areas that are prone to liquefaction or flooding. We must also work to find safer ways to store mining waste. Breaking into the top 5, the Leshan Giant Buddha which is is a carved stone statue of Mithraya Buddha located in Leshan, Sichuan Province, China. It is the largest stone Buddha statue in the world, standing 71 meters, 233 feet, tall and 28 meters, 92 feet, wide. The statue was built over 90 years, from 713 to 803 after the death of Christ, and was carved out of a cliff face overlooking the confluence of the Min River, Chingyi River, and Dadu River. Leshan Giant Buddha was built as a way to calm the turbulent waters of the rivers and protect the local people from flooding. The statue is said to have been so effective that the waters of the rivers became calm and the area was spared from flooding. The Leshan Giant Buddha is a UNESCO World Heritage Site and is one of the most popular tourist attractions in China. The statue is also a sacred site for Buddhists and is a place of pilgrimage for many people. In recent years, the Leshan Giant Buddha has been threatened by flooding. The statue is located in a low-lying area and is vulnerable to the rising waters of the rivers. In 2020, the statue was flooded up to its toes for the first time since 1949. The Chinese government has taken steps to protect the Leshan Giant Buddha from flooding. A flood control project has been built around the statue and the water level of the rivers has been regulated. The statue is also being monitored by experts to ensure its safety. The Leshan Giant Buddha is a national treasure of China and a testament to the ingenuity and engineering skills of its creators. The statue is a reminder of the power of faith and the importance of protecting our cultural heritage. Number 4, Zayasambaun Province Dam. This is a hydroelectric dam on the Nam Gum River in Zayasambaun Province, Laos. The dam was built by the Chinese company Narinko International Cooperation and was completed in 2018. The Zayasambaun Province Dam is a 100-meter-high earth-filled dam with a reservoir capacity of 1.7 billion cubic meters. The dam generates 150 megawatts of electricity, which is exported to Thailand. The Zayasambaun Province Dam has been criticized by environmental groups for its impact on the environment. The dam has flooded a large area of forest and displaced thousands of people. The dam has also been blamed for causing water shortages downstream. 
In 2017, the Zayasambaun Province Dam was one of several dams in Laos that were affected by heavy rains. The dam was overtopped and released a large amount of water, which caused flooding downstream. The flooding damaged homes and infrastructure and displaced thousands of people. The Zayasambaun Province Dam is a controversial project. It has been praised for its potential to generate electricity and reduce poverty in Laos. However, it has also been criticized for its environmental impact and the displacement of people. The future of the Zayasambaun Province Dam is uncertain. The dam is facing increasing scrutiny from environmental groups and the Laotian government is considering its future. At the third spot is the Mariana Dam which was a hydroelectric dam located in the state of Minas Gerais, Brazil. It is the fourth largest dam in Brazil and the largest in the state of Minas Gerais. The dam was constructed between 1982 and 1997 and is owned by the Furnace Centrais Eléticas, a Brazilian state-owned electric utility company. The Mariana Dam is a concrete gravity dam with a height of 229 meters and a crest length of 767 meters it impounds the Rio Doce, a major river in southeastern Brazil. The reservoir created by the dam has a capacity of 53 billion cubic meters. The Mariana Dam was used to generate electricity and to provide water for irrigation and industrial use. It is also a popular tourist destination. On January 25, 2019, the Mariana Dam collapsed, releasing a massive amount of water and mud that killed at least 270 people and caused widespread environmental damage. The collapse was caused by a combination of factors, including poor construction and maintenance, heavy rains, and seismic activity. The collapse of the Mariana Dam was a major environmental disaster. The mud flow destroyed roads, bridges, and homes, and contaminated rivers and streams. The disaster also caused the deaths of thousands of fish and other animals. The Brazilian government has launched an investigation into the collapse of the Mariana Dam. The government has also pledged to rebuild the dam and to compensate the victims of the disaster. Number 2, Sardoba Dam. The Sardoba Dam is a hydroelectric dam on the Sir Daria River in Uzbekistan. The dam was built in 2008 and has a capacity of 1,300 megawatts. On May 1, 2020, the Sardoba Dam collapsed due to heavy rains. The collapse caused the release of approximately 1.5 billion cubic meters, 53 billion cubic feet, of water, which flooded downstream areas in Uzbekistan and Kazakhstan. The flooding killed at least six people and displaced thousands. The collapse of the Sardoba Dam was a major disaster. It has had a devastating impact on the communities and environment of the region. Number 1 The Gage Hydro Dam And finally, the Gage Hydro Dam which is a concrete gravity dam located on the Sleepers River in St. Johnsbury, Vermont. It was built in 1913 and is used to generate hydroelectric power. The Gage Hydro Dam failed on February 17, 2023, due to heavy rains and flooding. The failure of the dam caused the release of approximately 69 acre-feet of water, which flooded downstream areas. There were no injuries or deaths as a result of the dam failure. The Federal Energy Regulatory Commission, FERC, is investigating the cause of the dam failure. However, it is believed that the failure was caused by a combination of factors, including heavy rains, the dam was overtopped by the floodwaters, which put pressure on the embankment. Weak soil, the dam was built on weak soil, which made it more susceptible to failure. Lack of maintenance, the dam was not properly maintained, and there were cracks and erosion in the embankment. The failure of the Gage Hydro Dam is a reminder of the dangers of dams. It is important to ensure that dams are properly designed, constructed, and maintained. We must also work to find ways to reduce the risks of flooding. The FERC has ordered the owner of the dam, Green Mountain Power, to take steps to repair the dam and improve its safety. Green Mountain Power has said that it will comply with the FERC's order. The failure of the Gage Hydro Dam is a setback for the town of St. Johnsbury. The dam provided hydroelectric power to the town and surrounding area. However, the town is committed to rebuilding the dam and restoring power to the area. And you have it, the 10 massive dams caught on camera, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you never miss an episode of our thrilling exploration.